guys, welcome back to Ancestors of Alcohol. I'm Bree, in case you don't already know. So today I'm gonna to be talking to you about my great-grandmother, Jewelton. Um, I didn't really know that much about my great-grandmother, except that she was a triplet and she was kind of a big deal because her father conceived her when he was super, super old. Um, I never really asked my grandmother about her until I started my ancestry journey. And once I got started, I really got to know who this lady was and realized that she was a super strong woman. So here are a few pictures of my great grandmother, Jewelton, and also the other two triplets, Delton and Welton, her twin brothers. So, a little bit about my great-grandmother, Jewelton. She was born on April 16th, 1911 in Sanford, North Carolina. Um, Sanford is about 45 minutes right outside of Raleigh, North Carolina, um, and she was a triplet. So, she was only girl, and then there was Delton and Welton, her two twin brothers. My great-grandmother grew up in a huge family. She was one of 13 children, and she was raised in rural Cape Fear, North Carolina, which is also around the Sanford area. Um, and that's according to the 1920 census, where she was eight years old. I was told that my grandmother, not my grandmother, my great-grandmother, Jerelton, moved to Philadelphia when she was about 18 and lived with her sister, Evelyn. Um, she worked at a restaurant where she then met my great-grandfather, John. So basically, he would come in to the restaurant about once a week and order some apple pie. But then once he saw my great-grandmother, he made it a daily routine. I guess he thought he had some game or something. Um, and I was told that she didn't like him because she had a boyfriend. But eventually, I guess she grew to like him. And then they eventually got married in 1932. And in 1933, she had her first child, which is my great-aunt Marie. After she had my great aunt Marie, she became a stay-at-home mom, and then she later had five children throughout the years. After her children were born, my great-grandmother actually had a nervous breakdown, and she was put in a mental, mental institute. And she was kind of in and out of the mental institute for a few years until she got better, and then she came back home. Unfortunately, she did pass away in August of 1994 due to cancer. Um... I couldn't really find any information about my great-grandmother, Jewelton, so most of the um, information that I have was from my grandmother. And like I said, I do interviews with people, and I got I would ask my grandmother questions about my great-grandmother. I would go back, listen to the interviews, make notes, and then I combine all the information to put together a story about my great-grandmother. Um, I am told that she was quiet, reserved, and she didn't drink at all. And she also didn't like to take a picture didn't like to take pictures. So the two pictures that you saw in the beginning, those are the only two pictures I have of my great grandmother. Um, but this was interesting because I couldn't find anything about her in the census record. So sometimes you're not always going to be able to find things about people. So it helps to ask questions and get stories from different people and see what they say so that you can compile information and try to figure out who this person was. But that is all I have today for you guys. So I hope you have a wonderful day, beautiful black people. And please subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And I also have a Facebook page. So make sure you like my Facebook page where I have pictures on there as well as my blog. Bye.